What's going on, good people? Do you like Danganronpa and want to see more games come out in that series? Well, this may be the next best game to satiate our desire for more Danganronpa. Meet Inescapable, developed by Finnish developer Dreamloop and published by Axis, in a game where 11 kidnapped victims are transported to a tropical island getaway to compete in a game show, where the victor earns a cash prize of $500,000. The catch? There is no escape from the island and there are no rules. It's a free-for-all, where paranoia is the name of the game and is sure to heighten the despair as 11 strangers fight for their very survival. And the money, of course. Can't forget that, can we? Players reprise their role as protagonist Harrison Taylor, a young man transported to this island unwillingly along with 10 fellow victims. We know very little about each of the castaways, I guess we can call them, but we can get glimpses into what their personalities may be by their slogans represented in the trailer. So, let's dive into a few of these, shall we? Just so that we can become more familiar with our new island mates before they are most likely torn to shreds by this dude or killed by a fallen coconut. Oh man. Let's look at the man of the hour, Harrison Taylor, also the protagonist of the story. His plaid shirt and timid look on his face makes me feel like this is a character that will be instinctively reflective as we explore the island with him and will probably reprise the role of a trustworthy guy among the castaways. He's got neutral protagonist written all over him, and I think that's a good thing. With so many sure-to-be-interesting characters making their sandprints over the island, it's good to be able to see the events unfold through the eyes of someone a bit more ordinary. His slogan, To whom can I forward my list of allergies to? hilariously cements him as a sincere guy who's very cautious about everyone and everything. Let's now take a look at Maria Strauss next. She seems like a happy-go-lucky girl who, despite the circumstances she's in, looks at everything with a glass half-full approach. She's got a nice smile to her, again, considering the situation, and that pink streak in her hair and her otherwise blonde hair hints at a fun, potentially rebellious side of her that could make her a little unpredictable. Or it could simply represent a cute side to her that solidifies her as an innocent, trustworthy ally to help sort through this mess. Her cheerful and uplifting attitude is highlighted in her slogan, We can do this if we try working it out together. For our final character to briefly look over, let's take a look at Giovanni Lombardi, a sinister looking dude that looks down to go to Pound Town. His slogan, I'll punch my way through the ocean if I have to, brilliantly caps off the impression I get from this guy and he will surely be a character we should keep our eyes on. But that's just the thing. We need to keep our eyes on everyone. No matter how friendly or intimidating, polite or rude someone is, there will always be one winner, potentially, and no one can escape this island of no rules brutality. For those Danganronpa fans out there, this certainly looks like something fun and captivating to sink our teeth into. This game really harkens back to Danganronpa 2, as that game setting took place on a tropical island as well. I love how Inescapable clearly wears its influences on its sleeves, with clear odes to the aforementioned Danganronpa series present throughout the trailer, as well as Spike Chunsoft's other series with the Nonary games, especially with the big bold words, there is no escape, jumping out at your face. It seems like Inescapable is also steering away from the established formulas of its influences in meaningful and exciting ways, however, as we can catch brief glimpses into how the game will likely play. We can see what appears to be isometric camera views with characters represented as pawns on the map. Perhaps this is where the player can choose to interact with various things in the environment and initiate conversations with other characters. Other scenes play out in typical visual novel-like formats, with characters taking up the screen with 3D backgrounds with the accompanying text reprising the bottom of the screen. With little to nothing shown about the gameplay or the game structure for that matter, it's purely just speculation at this point as to how the game plays. From what we've seen, I do greatly approve of the isometric camera angles for some of the interior scenes, as it gives us more of an accurate view of the surroundings, especially if we were to investigate a crime scene per se. Also, we don't know much about the story other than it's a no-rules televised game show, where those who survive win $500,000. 
This leaves it open to interpret that there could potentially be more than one winner. What happens if someone were to die? Will there be times we need to investigate crime scenes to pinpoint who done it? There are no rules, so I'm sure this game will have a very different, completely open format of all manners of bizarre things happening that really distinguish it from the more structured Danganronpa games. I couldn't be more excited for this. I loved the Danganronpa games for their masterful displays of suspense, yet it always felt like the formula of deaths and trials made the game format a bit predictable. Inescapable seems to be throwing away the script and just going crazy with whatever the team wants to do, constantly turning things on their heads. Do you think that this will be a choose-your-own-adventure-like game where we can dictate the direction of the story based on our decisions? I am doubtful of that, personally, but I am very eager to try this game out when it launches sometime next year in 2023 and see what kinds of surprises the developers have in store for us. What do you think of Inescapable? Is this something that you're thinking of learning more about in the future? Does it look as intriguing to you as it does to me? Let me know in your thoughts in the comments and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Game Watch just like this, as well as numerous reviews, tips and tricks videos, and more surrounding the latest and greatest games in the industry. Thank you so much for the support and I look forward to seeing all you good people in the next video. Peace!